right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the truck, American Truck Simulator. I don't know what that person's doing looking over there. Uh, let's Drive get this safe. thing started. Uh, my trailer is right next to me. And this, this engine is probably pretty darn cold because it's way cold outside. I don't know if this will zoom in. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell. The dash is a little hard to read on this one. And kill the parking brake. If you missed my last video, you should go back and watch it because if you look at the damage thing on my truck down there on the bottom of my screen, I had me some issues. And in the interim, I did get my SIM dashboard working. It was very tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. It's my own time, it's tricky. Uh, there was a little check mark I had to push on the, on the app. Okay, let's find a new route. Turn right. Now, I had just done a... Uh, I just grabbed a quick dashboard um, and I didn't really pay attention and it's set up for uh, kilometers per hour and RPMs. That's all it's showing me. So it's not really being helpful, but it's just a test. It's all over now. there let's uh let's get outside and take a peek see what i got going it's hard to tell if the pin is in there but we'll see when it moves all right so uh yeah we got the same looking trailer that's pretty cool though. let me let me zoom out here this might be our, this might be our thumbnail. <laughs> Let me make, I'm going to do another one just in case, because I'm not sure I didn't take that picture. After, I might have changed the view. Okay. Do the tug test on this thing. All right. Well, I'm honking the horn. I didn't. I didn't pick me out. Of the... We'll go to this one this time. Okay. Here we go. Let's honk the horn again because it's always fun. Yeah, and apparently, hopefully where it teleports me in, I'll be at a place where I can get repairs done. Because I boogered up my truck in that last video. So if you skip that video, you can go back and watch me wreck. But, um, and I am in this new Kenworth. And... got these digital mirrors I wanted to try it out for two reasons one it's a new truck it's free it's a DLC download you got to go in and download the DLC but it's a free DLC um, and you can't do a whole lot of modifications to it you can do some stuff but not a lot of stuff and um, but I wanted to try it because it's got those digital mirrors that are on the posts so your view is not blocked. Those traditional mirrors are kind of small. So you have a good view out the sides. So 
I wanted to give it a whirl. Yeah, that, that little route over there is pretty neat, going through that tunnel. But I had my issues. Ready to turn right. Turn right. I'm just going to slide right into that stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this combination of the uh, winter the winter mod and then being in winterland <laughs> I'm just tearing up my truck Rex a plenty is what this series should be called I didn't think I was going that fast but well, I had the wheel turned all the way and the brakes locked up Those northern lights are just day glow in that. I talked about it in the last one. I don't know if there's a way to dim those mirrors. There should be. Simon made me a little bit of money. I guess there's talks also that uh, I guess SCS had said that they're talking about the 1.50, which would be the next update that they do. Turn right. Will potentially have the new rendering engine. Now, whether or not that's going to allow for multi-threading and multiple cores and all that stuff, and is up. You know, they, they weren't specific with it, but I didn't see it myself, but apparently from what they were saying, um, all of the development team is already working exclusively on the new engine. So that's a sign that it might be getting close to being ready, so that would be nice. This is a sharp corner, this snow. Like I said, this is pretty pretty extreme, but this is kind of what I was expecting this to be like. I mean, you're going up a snow-packed hill with a corner that sharp, you should be slowing way down. Here we are. Safe That bright mirror does mess with your, uh, night vision trying to see past it. portal this thing. Got my iced tea now. 
yeah it's 40 45 degrees in here let's see what time is it three o'clock in the morning god Wow. Yeah, look at this. It is eight seven thirty in the morning and it's still dark. Man, I had an air pressure issue. Where's my pressure gauges? Which of those gauges is for air pressure? Just at a little rest stop here. At least I should be able to steer now. Stopping is still an issue, but uh, steering. Steering should work a little better. We got 60 miles. Something didn't add up there. It said it was three o'clock in the morning. Or was that when I, maybe I was looking at the wrong thing? Maybe that's when I was due to arrive. this engine. I'm floored right now. Doing 40. Going up this hill. Uh oh. Incident ahead. Look at this guy hauling ass in his... set too wide or not. Switch trucks, so I put my my uh, Freightliner I was driving is in Phoenix now. I never hired a driver. Does it tell me? Oh, yeah, okay. I got my crew set at 40 now.
Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. I guess I missed the speed limit sign. I'm like, the speed limit's 30. Yep, I'm going to be getting a bigger engine. I did hear some people were saying that this... This new truck seems a little underpowered, which it does. Goes good downhill. I'm not slowing down because it says there's a crossroad up here, and I, if I have to stop. turn is right up here. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. I had to use the parking brake.
There we go. I got excellent, even though I crashed into that one. Alright, so I got 11 out of 15. So uh, let's see, what is today? Today's Wednesday. Thursday will be when these air. So Friday will be 12 and 13. Sunday will be 14 and Christmas Day will be 15. That's working out perfect. All right, so thanks for watching these <laughs> exciting episodes of Let's, Let's Crash a Truck. Uh, tune in uh, tomorrow for my next two episodes of Crashing, crashing Trucks. <laughs> Peace!